I'm still trying to get my camera in here. So, guys, um, this is for the, the this is for the um, the channel members. So, um, I pulled out one of my decks today and did an earth sign for um, um, did a reading for the earth signs, and I pulled out my um, enchanted map deck and. I haven't worked with this deck in such a while. I was I start. I decided to start pulling out some cards and looking them up to see exactly what they meant. And um, it's so funny because um, sometimes I like to go back and look at the book and see the actual meaning. Because once you have the meaning of the cards down, then your intuition kicks into overdrive, or at least for me it does. Then my intuition kicks in overdrive, and I start getting all these other messages. Okay, so every once in a while it behooves me to go back, relook things up. Okay, and again, it has done so again. So, I started going through the deck and seeing whichever ones fell out, and I was going to read the message on them. Well, the first one is, um, that fell out for me, was Coming to Light. It's a 29 card, and so I said, okay, so this is, this is talking about, this particular card is talking about seeing a long-held dream coming to life, or, or feeling yourself being sparked in some sort of way, right? And so, I thought that was, um, I'm like, well, yeah, that makes sense, you know, and then, um, the next card that fell out was Moonlight. Now, Moonlight is um, is talking about um, um, things you're not quite seeing sometimes. I'm going to read you all the actual meaning to it because it, it, it says, Your intuition allows you to see beyond the mundane logic and, and analytical. Follow it. Moonlight beckons. Come and trust your intuition to lead you into places that may not seem logical. Your intuit, your hutches, hutches will be right on target. Resist second guessing yourself. Your alternative perception is especially sharp right now. You can see beyond the surface of things and truly read between the lines. This is a good time to use oracle cards or other systems of divination. And the first thing I thought of was my <laughs> was my um, amulet, the, uh, my rock um, stone that I use, my pendulum for finding out things. That was the first thing that popped in my head. So, that to me is a sign in synchronicity. So, I'm going to write down my pendulum. I'm going to tell you why in a second. Okay, that was the first thing that popped in my head. Then it says, um, the meaning of the, is, remember the language of the intuition is a symbolic one. It comes su subtly through a hunch, a tingling, a clear sound, or an animal or object crossing your path to help you now. Success is yours if you follow the sign. And I'm like, okay. And that's the moonlight card. And what's coming across her is an owl, right? And which owls have a lot to do with intuition. Okay. She's got her eyes closed, her head down. And I always see these as fairy wings. It's like a fairy stopping to say, what am I feeling? What am I thinking? And the first thing that popped in my head when I thought about that was signs and synchronicities. Okay, what are all different kinds of signs and synchronicities do we see? And some of them are common. Like a lot of people think a red uh, cardinal has to do with ancestors or visitors coming to visit you, right? Um, uh, birds are messengers, um, you know, different things like that, right? So, and then I thought, well, for some reason I decided, I, I don't normally do reversals. I like to think about the positive side of things. But for the reverse, the first sign, the first sentence is, too much analyzing is getting you nowhere. Stop overthinking things. And I was like, I've been doing a lot of that lately. I have been. And I'm like, all of a sudden I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, because I've been trying to think of some, I mean, I, there's all kinds of things that we can talk about that I know things about, right? But one that I'm, that I probably need to study more of, and you teach best what you most need to learn, is signs and synchronicities. And all of a sudden, I just, like, I suddenly realized when my ears were ringing earlier today, because my angels talk to me all the time. I get messages all the time. Um, sometimes it takes a while to unpack it, to go, what was I feeling, thinking if something else was going on, and my ears started ringing, and you, know, you have to stop and listen, and I'm like, okay, wait, wait. <laughs> you know, it takes me a while to unpack it. So... When the pendulum had gotten to my head in signs and synchronicities, I was like, oh, so maybe this is something I've, yes, this is something I've kind of somehow overlooked. Um, and so I was just wanting other input from people. I do want to do something with the runes, but I'm also thinking, picking them picking up on signs and synchronicities and starting a book of those. Now, I know some people did, um, there's other people that, um, I like to write down, like, I, I'm really big on symbols myself, which is why symbols talk to me, the runes talk to me so much, but I was thinking, you know, maybe I could use the pendulum somehow, it's write down signs and synchronicities I pick up during the day, 
right? Write them down and then use my pendulum and maybe even get some magazines, cut some of those, you know, find, get some old, a stack of old magazines and pick up some pictures of things that I saw or something I can relate to, a sign of synchronicity that I thought I heard, saw an animal, an object, like the thing said. And then I thought, well, maybe I could do a circle of those, write down, some, you know, copy down or cut out some magazine pieces, put them down and use my pendulum to see, you know, is it stopping anywhere? Where's it going to stop at? And just go around and around until it stops on something and say, okay, what does this mean to me? Okay, so I thought, does that sound interesting to do? Um, it would take a little bit of work on my part to go find some old magazines. Um, I don't know if the library, I think the library has some, I could get some. But I mean, literally, signs and singing as you see through the day. Um, because what means something to me might not mean the same to you. So I thought, does that sound like a good idea of something that we could delve into? Okay, we could do some symbols, we could do runes, but what about signs and synchronicities you see throughout the day? Maybe keep a list of them, and then um, um, I could we could do something on that with a live stream or something um, that I want to get into at some time in the near future. Um, or even you could... Um, I could post a view what signs and synchronicities in the community part did you see today? And you, and you could put down, I saw this and this and this and this, and we could discuss it or whatever. Um, thought that was an idea that popped into my head, and I'm like, oh, wow, huge. So, uh, huge for me anyway. <laughs> but I thought, that's interesting. Because signs and synchronicities mean different things to different people. So what that I know, I could talk to you about. What do you know you could talk to me about that we could learn from each other, right? Because you're always teacher and student. And I really like the idea of having feedback and being able to talk about things. And I thought it was a great idea. So let me know what you think about that in the comments. Guys, um, signs and synchronicities, maybe possibly using the pendulum, cutting out some pictures out of a magazine, um, never thought of using that for something on the channel. Let me hear your ideas. Lighthouse.